Hi, this is Jada Four with PopPhoto.com and Inside Digital Photo. I'm here with the Michael Brooks, uh, photographer and uh, uh, teacher. And Michael, you're uh, here at the Fuji booth today, and uh, you've got the uh, Fuji uh, Fujifilm FinePix S3 UVIR, which is quite the mouthful, but it's quite a camera. Now, uh, tell me about your special. You're a forensics uh, special specialist, is that right? Yes, I do forensic training, forensic photography, uh, consulting to law enforcement uh, around the country and internationally. And I'm very excited about this uh, particular product by Fuji, the uh, UVIR camera. Now, what? Tell us about UVIR and what makes this camera special. Well, UVIR is a, a specialized technique in forensics in which it enables uh, a user, end user of the the camera system, to see things that are typically invisible to the naked eye. And this particular camera from Fuji is right off the shelf. There's no aftermarket modifications, which means you are not voiding your warranty. And it has another feature, the live preview, which enables the user to perform uh, ultraviolet or infrared photography in a much simpler manner. Now tell me, this is all done at the sensor level, right? I mean, this, is, this camera essentially sees things that other cameras don't, is that right? Well, in, in essence, that is, that is correct. All digital cameras are seeing infrared. However, with that hot mirror filter over the sensor chip put on there at the factory level, it's blocking the, the camera's ability to record that. Fuji has removed that right from the factory. So in essence, you have a, a different camera. But I think what really sets this one apart from any other digital camera where you can remove that hot mirror is the live preview, enabling you to see instantly which filter is working, which technique is not working. And this is like one of the first times you've actually had that, uh, that opportunity, the live preview? Absolutely. Uh, and it has made figuring out which filter works for your particular specimen uh, for instance, if you have two, two inks, one's offending, the other blocking it from being visible, we can now look through the live preview, wave our filter in front of the lens, and see automatically or instantly which filter is working, dropping one ink so you can see the other one underneath. It it's, truly is an amazing uh, capability. Tell me, tell me a little bit, uh, some of the applications that you would have for this camera. Well, of course, probably the largest application would be in the question document area when you're dealing with dark uh, greens, dark blues, uh, black inks, where traditionally you've had to utilize the infrared reflected or infrared luminescence technique. That's probably 80 to 90 percent of where the camera would be used. But because it's also sensitive to ultraviolet, you can use it for bite mark photography, you can use it uh, for detection of blood, uh, as well as seminal fluids. And you said some uh, gunshot residue as well? Yes, you can use it for gunshot residue on certain fabrics, certain backgrounds. Just as infrared will only work with certain colors and certain shades, it's the same thing with ultraviolet. It's, it's not an end-all system, as there is really no perfect system out there that's going to do every task you may encounter. So very cool. And you're already uh, using this, putting it, putting it to work? Absolutely. It has been really a wonderful camera when uh, I was approached by Fuji back in January about testing the camera, my company. Uh, I was really amazed within the first half an hour how easily I was able to see through a, a variety of different inks and uh, pretty much performed some casework fairly quickly with the camera uh, or simulated casework when I was testing the, uh, the camera out. But there have been a, a lot of uh, successes with the camera on a variety of different cases uh, to include some homicides that have been uh, resolved because of this camera. Wow, a crime-fighting camera, I like that. Now um, this, this fits with Nikon lenses, is that right? Yes, all of the Nikon lenses, or most of the Nikon lenses, I should say, will work with the camera as well as the Nikon accessories, the flash units, and the off-camera flash cables, which will be something that's very necessary in performing infrared uh, luminescence technique, off-camera flash. Okay, for, well, for some of our listeners out there that uh, might want to learn a little bit more about forensic photography, and uh, what, what, do you have any advice for those guys? Well, my advice is to uh, give us a call at Brooks Photographic Imaging, or you can visit our website at www.brooksphotographicimaging.com. All right. Well, Michael, I appreciate uh, you taking the, the time today uh, to show us the new Fujifilm FinePix S3 UVIR. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Jada Four with PopPhoto.com and Inside Digital Photo signing off with another segment here. Stay tuned for more cool stuff.